Hi, in this demo, we're going to demonstrate how to orchestrate a hyperscaler grade uh, GPU cloud using uh, Arnos uh, AMCOP. So the objective of the demo is to create tenants from the administrator and uh, each of the tenants can allocate uh, the GPU resources, which are the compute nodes in this case. So what we'll show in the demo is uh, first the topology discovery, which is the underlay network. The entire configuration is discovered by the administrator, the NCP admin, followed by creating the tenants. And each of the tenants can allocate uh, their compute instances, which include the CPUs, the GPUs. And uh, what is also shown is the isolation, the network isolation, which includes both the east-west network as well as the north-south and also the storage isolation where a common storage is used across uh, both the tenants and lastly the observability of both the admin and uh, the tenants is uh, shown so the demo runs uh, with the AMCOP already pre-installed so the first administrator logs in um, discovers the topology and uh, creates the tenants and uh, followed by the tenants logging in and uh, the two tenants the tenant one and tenant two both of them allocate uh, the compute resources the bare metal compute resources and it also shows uh, the dashboards where both the admin as well as the tenants can look at their own resources and all of this is shown on uh, nvidia air environment using a three-tier uh, switch configuration. And lastly, we'll also show a slice of the, the previous topology, a much smaller topology on a real hardware, where we show some additional features, such as uh, the intent-based orchestration, and also the GPU observability. So this is the demo configuration on NVIDIA Air. So it's a three-tier switch configuration with the leaf, spine, and uh, the core switches. The compute nodes, the AGX servers, and the storage are connected to the leaf switches. And AMCOP is installed on one of the management servers, which is connected through a out-of-band switch with all the nodes. And AMCOP in this case runs exactly the same uh, uh, production code which runs on a real hardware and lastly we'll show a small slice of the previous configuration where some of the additional features are uh, demonstrated which includes the intent based orchestration and also looking at the the GPU metrics and uh, in addition the infinite band isolation is also shown uh, in this case so this is the AMCOP portal where the, the NCP admin logs in and as soon as they log in they see a dashboard with all the existing uh, resources which includes the tenants, the servers, the switches and storage and so on. So what uh, the admin is going to do first is to discover the existing topology. So for that they need to provide uh, some information regarding the MAC addresses of the core switches and once that's provided the orchestrator discovers the entire topology with all the relationships and it shows uh, on the screen as, as you can see so it shows the the three tier topology with all the compute nodes the storage as well as the out of band uh, network so you can see all the resources the compute resources the storage so you can see that the compute is all uh, unallocated so the next step is to create the tenants so that admin creates uh, the first tenant and and then invites a user to be the admin for the tenant so the process of uh, inviting the user is to provide their email address
and the user receives an email and accepts the invite and then they register. So here the user is uh, registering as a tenant admin. So once they complete the registration, now they can log into the, the portal as a tenant admin. So once the tenant admin logs in, they have their own dashboard where all their resources are shown. So right now, as you can see, there's nothing. So now the tenant starts allocating resources. So they allocate uh, the bare metal compute instances. So there is one flavor which is defined and that's what is used. And these flavors can be added by the administrator, the NCP admin. So once the compute node is allocated, they can see all its uh, matrix in the dashboard. So they can also see the details about the storage that's allocated for this compute node as well as the network. The network includes both the north-south fabric as well as the east-west fabric along with all their IP addresses, the switch ports where they're connected and all the details are shown. Now the tenant allocates uh, a second compute instance again follows the same sequence. So now the tenant has uh, two compute instances, so they can view all the details uh, of, of all their instances. Again, they can look at the storage, the details on the network, Now you log out of the, the tenant persona and again log in as a NCP administrator. Now the admin will create the second tenant. So once the admin logs in, they can see their dashboard. Now we can see that the dashboard is updated with uh, all the tenants and the resources. Now the admin is creating the second uh, tenant and again follows the same sequence to invite a user to be the tenant administrator. So now you can see two of the tenants. So now we're going to log in as a second tenant and again allocate uh, the compute instances. So now this tenant also allocates the bare metal compute instances using the same flavor. So there's only one flavor that's defined. So that's, that's what is used. So again, this tenant can uh, get the details about all of the, the compute instances that are allocated by them. Say so again, they can look at the storage, the network, So it's going to allocate uh, a second compute instance. So now the tenant has two instances. Again, they can look at all the observability. So now both the tenants have two instances, two compute instances each. 
and these are fully isolated. So now we're going to see how the isolation actually uh, is working. So you can log in to each of these uh, nodes through NVIDIA Air uh, console. And then from each of those nodes, you'll run a ping test to make sure that uh, the instances can only reach the other instances that are part of the same tenant but they cannot reach the other instances that are part of the other tenant. So you can see that uh, the ping test between different instances uh, from different tenants uh, is going to fail. And you'll also look at the storage so each tenant, the compute instances have their own storage and uh, they are only accessible from the particular tenant for which it's allocated. So you will create some test files and then make sure that uh, these files are actually created on the, on the storage in uh, different partitions. So now we're going to deallocate the nodes. So the tenant two uh, frees up the nodes, both the nodes. And now you can log in as a admin and uh, make sure that there are uh, two unallocated servers. Yeah, you can see that now only two of them are allocated and two are uh, available. So now we're going to show the similar functionality on the hardware setup. So here there are some additional details in the dashboard which are related to the GPU metrics, which were not available in the, in the, in the previous topology, which was an NVIDIA Air environment. So here you can see all of the GPU related uh, metrics, the utilization and, uh, and so on. There is also a software catalog where you can see all the OS images, the, the CUDA toolkit, the Kubernetes operators. So all of them can be created by the administrator, which are available to all the tenants. Now we're going to show the allocation using a, an intent instead of a specific uh, uh, topology. So in this case, the user is going to say what the requirements are, you know, what kind of model, what are the requirements for the model, and uh, the orchestrator allocates or uh, picks a set of uh, resources that are available for it. And then the user can choose which one they, they need based on the, the pricing and other details. So in this case, it shows one option which the user is going to pick. And they also have an option to run a benchmark. So they can choose a particular benchmark and run it on that. So the, once the benchmark completes, you can see the, the results, which you can download. So you can see that the benchmark is running with 82% uh, uh, GPU. Yeah, so they can, once it completes, you can see the benchmark report. And then based on the report, you can allocate the nodes or choose not to allocate. And there's also an option to download the benchmark report. if you look at the observability, 
there is more information now since there is a real physical GPU present. So you can see all the GPU related uh, metrics on the dashboard. And you can also see the InfiniBand P keys here. Since uh, this configuration also has uh, the InfiniBand. So that concludes the, uh, the demo.